Magical parents out of Hogwarts. Well, it's not me, I hope. Do you think it could be Draco? Well, if it is, how do we prove it? One of us needs to get Malfoy to answer a few questions without him realising it's us. That's what I was thinking. Which is why I've been making a Polyjuice Potion. What's Polyjuice Potion? It transforms you into somebody else. One of us could change into a Slytherin, and Malfoy would probably tell us anything we wanted to know. I managed to sneak a bit of Goyle's hair during Transfiguration class, and mix it into this. One sip, Harry, and you'll look just like Goyle. Oh, great. Oh! Harry! Are you okay? He's usually lurking about the dungeons this time of night.
Drake house down here. He's been looking for you. Number 43, Cyprian Yaldo. Dumbledore's trying to hush it all up. He'll be sad if it doesn't stop soon. Father's always said old Dumbledore's the worst thing that ever happened to Hogwarts. He loves that non-magical lot. A decent headmaster would never have let that jumped up Granger mudblood in. And as for Saint Potter, the mudblood's friend, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. And people think He's the Slytherin heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. Oh, you must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I have a Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. The last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's only a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, uh, Draco, I'd best be going. Going where? Uh, to the hospital wing. Yes, that's it, the hospital wing. I've got a stomachache and I need to get something for it. Get going, Coil, before your fat belly explodes! I'd better get out of here, and fast. Number 86, Dork. 